Okay, next up is the quarterfinals game between Dark Prince and Color. 2-0 in favor of Dark Prince. So let's see what went wrong for Color. Or what went right for Dark Prince. Landius, not a good first ban against Dark Prince. If you play against him, you know that he almost rarely picks his, very rarely picks his Landius. Going for a very aggressive P1 Leon Hart strategy and banning out here. Okay, those faction buffers are gone. I mean, if if you see this, wouldn't you want? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Zeri Listel, juggler to faction buff for his Leon Hart. Double healer ban. Liana. Okay. Rachel Claret. Mm, fair enough. Liana. Zeri Listel ban. Yulia. Gospel. Okay. Okay, so far. Bozo. So AoE plays after Juggler is banned. Luna to reduce magic damage. Okay. Not gonna do anything against Leon Hart though. Tiaris maybe? Yeah. Skipping to turn 2 as usual. So Dark Princess aggressively pushed forward. Faction buff. No Beast Shock Juggler. Double AoE Leon Hart. Sleep Black Hole. And there's AoE for further follow-up. Once he's done with his AoE combo. Okay. He has Breeze, right? He has a tenuous Breeze. Own Breeze. So a tenuous Breeze, let's see. Fusion Emperor. Yeah. And Machete? Are you gonna Machete? Or are you just gonna Okay, so this is uh, the annoying Leon Hart buff stripping build. Mm -hmm. So if you're wondering why that works for Dark Prince, um, it's because he has Judge Talisman on, which is why he's doing so much damage. So that was his strategy for dealing with Yulia, which is that he double AoEs Yulia with a Judge Talisman. I am not so Super thrilled with oh gosh, both healers are silenced. Oh gosh, he clocks as well. Yeah, that's bad news, man. Yep, that's bad news indeed. <laughs> so he's got two AoEs to follow up. <laughs> uh, he clocked the black hole, so that's gonna be nasty. He's also got arcane blast from Rachel. And because she's got Breeze, she can place it anywhere she wants. And both healers are probably going down after this. Are uh, both healers gonna die? Uh, not. No intelligence buff, so they're gonna stay alive. But they're all silenced, so they can't do anything. Okay. Very nicely played by Dark Prince. That's not gonna break through. Faction buff Luna is weak as Luna. Mm. Mm, he did get the curse land prop. So Dark Prince removes Luna from the equation for another sleep. Was it his first sleep? I think it's his first sleep. Okay. Finally getting the healers back online after those disastrous black holes at the start. But overall, this is not great for color because he's lost his tank buster in the form of. Yulia. Okay. Got 
draw this left hand, no guard for you. Mm hmm, that hurts. But he used up Dracula. So I think Rachel's dead. Because of Goddess's left hand. What the? Uh, no! Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Uh, un unless there's a gospel on Juggler or something? Am, am I am I missing something? Oh, okay, okay, there's a gospel. There's a gospel, fine. No, sorry, Rachel dispelled it herself. My mis my apologies. My apologies to Color, of course, of course. She dispelled it after she attacked Landius. So the order of probably... I guess there's no real way for the left hand debuff to do anything because there are so many dispels left. Okay. Act again. Tiaris probably will go down, I think. Alright, he's just gonna AoE instead. Stun? No stun. But he can still attack again. Very nice. Okay, so Tiaris is dead. Still has Liana. But things are not looking good for color. It's 5v3 now. Fusion Dark Emperor. Strip more buffs. So everyone's just rushing for the center now. Although obviously, um, <laughs> Dark Prince has the edge in terms of positioning. Nah, it's not gonna happen. You're just gonna get worn down by AoEs and all that. Uh -huh. Okay, so something happens here. Probably a yep, double AoE. Okay, good. So Dark Prince is stacking multiple actions. Try to kill off the Liana who is keeping the Landius alive. Almost dead. And Beyond Heart just needs one A any AoE to kill her. Yep, she did. And it's time to resign color. Okay, he wants to go out in style in the fire, so be it. And that's game one, very nice. Flawless 5-0 victory in terms of heroes up. Game two. Let me get rid of this, sorry. Listel first. Oh, Zarida first man, how interesting. Landius. Landius first ban doesn't work against Dark Prince. Listel first pick. He can do this because he has uh, three tanks. So if you double ban his tanks, he'll be playing tankless rush. Which he does pretty well actually. Mm hmm. So he gets his tank after all. His favorite Vargas. Mm, okay, that's not too bad. He has Sophia for Vargas, so that's always nice. Where are my controls? Why do I not get controls? Oh dear me, did I break the game or something? Ok, 
Okay, death buff. Bracer, Bracer, but this one probably doesn't have Bracer. Oh, it does have Bracer. Wait, what? Landius has Bracer, but the Luna doesn't. How odd. Okay, Fusion Arc Emperor. Luna's probably gonna go down to double AoEs with how low she is. Stunned anyway. Okay, heal up the tank, that's fine. Hit okay. The, the guard buff probably got removed, which is why there's no two tile guard. Still remains alive. Why? Why would you attack into a Vargas? Why would not? Why not the ah? Oh. <gasps> why not the Yulia? Did the Yulia not bring any range skills? <laughs> okay. Cannot be healed. Still still alive, miraculously. Why? You can't kill a Luna like that. Oh no, there goes Lelandius. No more troops, so it means he's dead. Yep. Yes, one more life, woman. Yep, Reaper's touch. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Self kill. Oh well. I guess. I think he should have just accepted the loss of his. Um, of his Luna and just attacked with Yulia just now. But now they all can't be healed. Healed. Because he has Estelle. Silence, ah yes, there's no more silence, so now he has all his AOEs, and that's the end. Yep, definitely the end. Okay, unfortunately we couldn't pause the match, but yeah, that was the round of 8, quarterfinals versus, uh, Color versus Dark Prince.